Okay, this video, uh, make sure you understand what are components of a vector and how you draw them, how you calculate them, and what are rectangular components. Okay, so let these questions guide you. Components, components, rectangular components. What's a unit vector? What is a unit vector? And what are direction cosines? All right, let's get going. So before, in the previous section, we saw that you could say you had a vector v1 there and a vector v2, right? On, I know that's v2 and v1, but it doesn't matter. And if they, they're free vectors, then we can take this guy and just put it head to tail. Not head to tail, sorry, this is the parallelogram. And then use the parallelogram method to get your vector sum, V. V is V1 plus V2. So here we had two vectors giving us a vector sum. Now these vectors are components of the vector sum. Okay? So uh, notice here with these three uh, graphs, these three figures, how the vector sum is exactly the same. Okay. If you if you were able to uh, erase these two vec the component vectors, we'll get to that in a minute. Just notice that these three are the same vector sum, but each figure has different components. So what you need to learn out of this conceptually is that the same vector sum, the the resultant final vector, can can be made up of different vector components. Okay, so how would you um, how would you say now you had that exact same vector sum, and we were working along this these two axes. Okay, say so now that's axis one, and that's axis two. Right, that's, that's the exact same vector sum as, the, as these three. And you wanted to know what is the component of this vector in this direction, in these two directions. Well, you use the parallelogram method. You draw, I don't know what color to use. You draw from that tip, you draw a parallel line to that, that axis until it cuts this axis and the same way you start at the head there and you draw a parallel line to that axis until it cuts that axis and there are your two components I know it's not drawn that well but there's the component along two and there's the component along one and you can do this for any axes the same way here so we have our our vector sum and we want to know what is if I want to apply a force, for example, in this direction and in this direction and get this vector sum. What do I need to do? Okay, well, use the parallelogram method, get this component, get that component, and then that is the direction and magnitude of the force in that direction and the magnitude and direction along one. And that combination will give you that. Okay, but as you can see, guys, this is not a right angle. Okay, it's not a right angle. But we do, we do uh, ideally sometimes want to work with right angled components. And those are called rectangular components. So if my two axes are perpendicular, like here, I've got an X and a Y, and there I've got an X dashed and a y dashed these are both rectangular components because they are perpendicular okay so so don't get stuck in that components always need to be perpendicular sometimes they can be acute they can have an acute angle or an obtuse angle like that but even this uses the rec the, the parallelogram method you t from the tip you draw a line parallel to that axis until you cut this axis, right? 
and then you from the tip you draw a line parallel to that axis until you cut that one and you've got your two components and so if your two axes are perpendicular then you've got rectangular components and if not then you've you've just got these components along these two axes okay all right so we spoke about rectangular components vx and vy are your components now let's just rewrite this here if that is v and i've got vx and vy you're going to have to use your imagination cuz I'm working on a tablet where it's difficult to draw straight lines and that's that's my angle if I want to determine that angle I simply use this um, this equation here tan to the minus 1 of V y over VX theta is tan to the minus 1 of V y over VX that gives us my angle okay and now uh, perhaps I can stop there and then in the next one I'll go on to unit vectors.